This is the new algorithm that measures their last 30 matches and puts an emphasis on strength of opponent and margin of victory. That was the three-month UTR wow. dead That's even. That's about what they down down to. Seven. <laughs> Did that factor in a, a rolled ankle and uh, squandered match points in earlier rounds? But uh, no, that was very much. And, and the match played out like that too, right? I mean, Absolutely. the sways and momentum, that was great theater. And there were times when you just, I, I got no clue who's going to win this. Sometimes Holop's legs looked a little fresher. Then obviously Kerber held the match points. That was just a great, great tennis match in terms of drama. And, and bear in mind, Halep had already been through one of those matches with Lauren Davis, where she ha and she sprained an ankle right. early in the tournament. She's been tested physically and emotionally. Absolutely, and and that's where maybe there's some benefit to to Wozniacki, who was first on, who didn't have physically of a taxing match. I mean, Halep though is one of the fittest players, but she has got to recover by tomorrow night. Not only physically, where she's got to be worn down a bit, but also mentally, because as we talked about, she had to battle more so mentally than anything else to win that match. So with all of that as a backdrop, let's get a quick early thought on our women's final with Wozniacki and Halep. They have met six times, four wins for Caroline, including a drubbing at the WTA finals last fall. What, what's your early uh, take on this? Well, let's, go let's, first. Let's, let's talk about that, though, because <laughs> sometimes the head-to-head, -head, you know, they're, they're a little misleading. They're, they're years and years ago when they were different players. These two met what, eight weeks ago? 6260? Yeah. Um, I wonder how that, obviously a different surface, different circumstances, but um, I, I think, Lindsay, what you said about the emotional recovery as well as the physical, boy, if I've beaten an opponent 12 out of 14 games two months ago, that's inflating me with some confidence. Yeah, I think if you're in the Halep camp, you're explaining to Halep, much different court, it's much faster, you're playing better, but there have been a couple big matches that Simona Halep hasn't shown up for, that was one of them, mm -hmm. finals of Cincinnati last year, but I really think yesterday's match is going to flip a switch for her, and obviously one of these two is going to go home with their first Grand Slam title, two of the best players to never win one, it's going to be a great moment, but I really think Kerber, uh, excuse me, Halep is going to carry the momentum from that Kerber victory. We'll find out tomorrow, it's all we could ask for in our women final. It's been an exciting women's tournament in general, and we've got a uh, final to be excited about. We've got a lot more to come on the program, including this guy trying to defend his title. We'll preview his semi tonight against Hyun Chung. Happy Australia Day, everybody.